Hello everyone, this is Kiran Gayakwar, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Kaili College of Pharmacy, Belgavi. So today we will we'll discuss about the limit test for sulphate. In the previous video, we are discussed what is limit test and limit test for iron. So today we will discuss about the limit test for sulphate, why we have to perform it, how we perform it and what is the principle of it? Let's see what is limit test. Limit test is defined as quantitative or semi-quantitative test designed to identify and control small quantities of impurity which is likely to be present in the substance. And limit test is generally carried out to determine the inorganic impurities present in the So we will be performing the limit test for the sulphate ion to find out the sulphate impurities. So objective of our experiment is to perform and report the limit test for sulphate on the given sample. Then the requirement is Nessler cylinder, we require a glass rod, measuring cylinder, pipette, dropper and rubber stopper and we require also a Nestle cylinder stand. Then the chemicals we require dilute HCl, 10% dilute HCl, barium sulphate, potassium sulphate, distilled water. Here barium sulphate is used as a reagent. Now what is the principle? The principle what we will be doing here is we will be finding the impurities, sulphate impurities which will be present in the pharmaceutical substance. When sulphate impurities will be present in the pharmaceutical substance, it will react with the reagent which is barium chloride and it will form a barium sulphate. So the it will it says limit test of sulphate is based on the reaction of soluble sulphate with barium chloride in the presence of dilute hydrochloric acid to form barium sulphate. Barium sulphate reagent contains barium chloride, potassium sulphate and alcohol. The potassium barium chloride which is present in the barium sulphate react with the sulphate ion and there will be a formation of barium sulphate and which will show the turbidity. The precipitate of barium sulphate is formed is insoluble in the dilute acetic acid and that is the reason we will be using acetic acid or instead of acetic acid most of the times dilute HCl is also used. So uh, the next is the known compound, known amount of potassium sulphate is added in the both standard and the taste. So when potassium sulphate is added the reason behind the addition of potassium sulphate is potassium sulphate act as a seeding agent means what if there is a presence of potassium sulphate it will help for the formation of barium sulphate ions this is the reaction in this reaction you can see sulphate ion is reacting with barium chloride in the presence of HCl and there is a formation of BASO4 that BASO4 is shows the turbidity Next part of the principle says ethyl alcohol will be using. Then ethyl alcohol is used to prevent the supersaturation. What happens when there is a formation of turbidity? That turbidity try to settle down at the bottom of the Nestle cylinder. And when the turbidity it gets settled, we have to shake that solution and we have to observe or compare it with the standard. But to prevent that, to avoid that ethyl alcohol is used. Barium sulphate reagents contains barium sulphate and ethyl alcohol which is used instead of ethanolic sulphate and the standard solution. And here there are the two other chemicals which are used that is instead of acetic acid hydrochloric acid is used and to, the change in the reagent does not affect the objective of the test. So our objective is to find out the impurities, sulphate impurities. 
sulfate impurity will react with the barium sulf barium chloride which is present in the barium sulfate reagent and it will form a barium sulfate which will be turbid nature or turbid will show the turbidity in the presence of acetic acid or hydrochloric acid by changing the chemicals or changing the reagents it will not show any effect on the formation of the turbidity so we'll get the proper results next the procedure the procedure is for the taste and the standard there is a difference between uh, the addition of the sample and the uh, taking of the standard solution in the taste sample we have to take specific amount of sample which for which we are gonna check uh, perform the limit test for sulfate and in the standard the will be preparing a uh, point one zero eight nine percent weight by volume of standard solution of potassium sulfate and that solution that procedure we will be taking from the IP and that procedure will be used for the preparation of potassium sulfate so one ml of standard solution of sulfate is taken in the standard nestle cylinder or the nestle cylinder which we mark as a standard and the specific amount of sam taste sample is taken and then next procedure is same for the standard as the as well as the taste so 2 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid then we have to add 45 ml of dilute water or we have to make the volume of the uh, we have to make up the volume by adding the water till 45 ml then add 5 ml of barium sulfate reagent and after adding the barium sulfate reagent it will react with sulfate ions which are present in the both standard as well as taste and we have to keep it aside for 5 minutes and after 5 minutes we have to compare the taste with the standard and there we get the observation so observation will be if the turbidity is produced in the taste is more than than the turbidity is produced in the standard then it fails the limit test or if turbidity produced in the taste is less than the turbidity produced in the standard then it passes the limit test it means what if the more turbidity as compared to standard means what the impurity which is present sulfate impurity which is present in the pharmaceutical substance for which we are checking the uh, checking the limit test for sulfate is more then impurity content is more and if it fails the limit then it fails the limit test when turbidity is less as compared to standard then it passes the limit test then means sulfate ion is less than the standard the reasons why we use specific chemicals hydrochloric acid uh, dilute hcl is used to uh, uh, it used uh, to make the solution acidic then potassium sulfate is used to increase the sensitivity uh, as i told you it is act as a seeding agent and alcohol helps to prevent super saturation so this was about the limit test for sulfate and these are the references i used thank you